Hey guys, this is the Cuber part of Magic Cubers, and today I'm going to teach you how to solve the 2x2. Two two. So let's get right into it. I gave this a nice good scramble, uh, as you can see, and now it's time to solve it. So first we're going to get the white layer. I'm probably going to use this as the white layer because it just looks like it should be. So what you're going to do is you're going to put the corner above where it's supposed to go. So I can see that I'm going to base it off of this corner right here. This is going to be the corner that is staying there. So this corner needs to go right here because it's green and green. That would connect. It's the green side. And what you're going to do is the same algorithm as the 3x3 when it's facing up. U, I mean, R, U, 2, R inverted, U inverted, R, U, R inverted. See, that made the 2 by one block right here on the white side. And let's move to this one. So, let's see, it's orange and blue. It would not connect to here because it's red. So it must go right here where it connects to orange. So you do the same algorithm as in 3x3 three three when it's facing you. R inverted, F, R, F inverted. Okay, so now this last corner is obviously going to go in this last slot right here. And it's facing up, so you go R, U, 2, R inverted, U, inverted, R, U, R inverted. And that was pretty easy. It got the first layer. And now let's move on to the second layer. Okay, so this is going to be the orientation of the last layer, which means that all the yellow pieces will be facing up. And there are seven cases that you can run into. So this is the first one. It is the easiest one to memorize because if you know how to do a 3x3, three by th three by three, you should already know this one. So it's just the soon algorithm, which is R, U, R inverted, U, R, U2, R inverted. And that got all the yellow pieces up. Okay, so this is the second case. This is kind of like the soon case, but it's the anti-soon, because it's not facing you, the yellow piece isn't facing you. So you turn it so it's back, the one facing up is back here. And you just pretty much do the reverse of the soon case, which is R inverted, U inverted, R, U inverted, R inverted, U2, R. And that made the last layer. Okay, so this is the third case. It's where two corners are facing up and two corners are facing the opposite of each other. You hold it like this where the two opposite corners are on the left hand side and you perform this algorithm. R, U, R inverted, U inverted, R inverted, F, R, F inverted. And there you go, that got the yellow side. Okay, so this is the fourth case. It's where two corners are facing up, but they're diagonal to each other. And these two corners, you there's one facing to the left and one facing to you. And it's pretty much the same as the last algorithm, but you start it with a F inverted, R, U, R inverted, U inverted, R inverted, F, R. Okay, so this is the fifth case. It is where there's no corners on the top. Two corners are, uh, and the two corners are together like that, facing you and facing away from you. You hold it like that. You do F, R, U, R inverted U, R, U, R inverted U, R, U, R inverted U. F inverted. Okay, so this is the sixth case. Um, it is again where no corners are facing up, 
two corners are opposite of each other, but two are connected like that. And you hold it so that the opposites are on the right hand side. And it's pretty similar to the last one. It's F, R, U, R inverted, U inverted, R, U, R inverted, U inverted, F inverted. So it's actually easier to memorize than that last one. Okay, so this is the seventh and final case. It is where two corners are facing up and two corners are facing you. You perform this algorithm. R2, D, R inverted, U2, R, D inverted, R inverted, U2, R inverted. And there you go, that got the yellow layer. And it's time to move on to the final step. Okay. So we are on the last step, which is getting all these pieces in the correct place. So when you have this case where there's already two pieces in the correct place, so in this, and two pieces need, that need to be switched with each other, so they need to just be switched, you hold it so that the correct two are on the left side, and you perform this algorithm. R, U, R inverted, U inverted. R inverted, F, R2, U inverted, R inverted, U inverted, R, U, R inverted, F inverted. And there you go, that solves the cube. Okay, so this is the last case. Um, it is where two corners are in the right place diagonal from each other, and two of them need to be swapped, so these two need to be swapped. And you perform this algorithm, holding it like this. F, R, U inverted, R inverted, U inverted, R, U, R inverted, F inverted, R, U, R inverted, U inverted, R inverted, F, R, F inverted. And that solves the cube and... That's all you really need to know to solve this in three easy steps.